The Holy Spirit is not distributed by lottery, with a few people selected to receive. It is not a game of chance. There are no winners. There are no losers. Those whom God calls, He equips. There is more than enough power to go around. The scriptures are clear. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not just for a few of God's favorites. We are all his favorites. Acts 2, 1 through 4. On the day of Pentecost, all of the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each one of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began, began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. On that day, 120 men and women was filled with the Holy Spirit. No one was left out. It was not just for the 12 apostles. Their gender was not a, was not a consideration. Neither was their age their race, or their status in life. Acts 1, 8 says, You shall receive power. This power comes to the believer with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus knew that his followers needed both authority and power to deal with the enemy. When he sent the twelve out in ministry, he sent them fully equipped. And that authority and power is ours for the asking. Just as a repentance prayer is a free gift so is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. A prayer would go something like this. It is not limited to this. This is just an example. Oh, Papa, I fully surrender to you, Lord. Baptize me now in the Holy Spirit. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now by faith in your word. May the anointing and the power of God come upon me and into my life right now. May I be empowered for service for from this day forward. Thank you for baptizing me in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.